Good morning to you. Sorry the lighting is a little bit bad, but I'm sitting in the tray shade of this olive tree over here just so that I can make sure that my arms don't get more sun what they ha than what they've already had on Tuesday this week. Simply put, I'm staying well out of the sun at the moment because I know that coming come Saturday I've got a fairly big ride coming up and I don't want to be he feeling sunburnt heading into that ride. Anyway, I was out, I have been out on the bike time is now just going nine o'clock in the morning the ride's almost finished I'm about ten minutes from home stopped at this cafe for this cup of coffee or should I say glass of coffee this part of Spain coffee at the cafes get served in glasses and but what do you think of this size as far as the coffee is concerned anyway somebody asked me yesterday why it is that I'm doing these bike rides in the morning and um, how that ties in with the uh, this YouTube channel that are these YouTube videos that I'm recording at the moment are these YouTube channels all about uh, fitness and training and endurance sport no they're not so why would I include my morning workouts in these videos that are all about content production surely while I'm out pushing myself on the bike for an hour or two in the early morning surely that can't be part of content production surely that can't be helping content production and that is what I'm wanting to talk to you about briefly this morning wait let me see yes let me take a quick sip of coffee then I can continue anyway what I was saying is that the, when it comes to my early morning workouts, look, I look at it as an early morning win. In other words, my morning workout, my morning bike ride is a task that I've set myself. By the time I sit down at my desk after having done the morning bike ride, I've already accomplished something for the day, which means that I'm feeling motivated by the momentum of having already finished something. I remember there's a video circulating around on YouTube where there's a, I think it's a marine captain or something like that, giving a graduation speech at a college or at a high school or something like that. And one of the things that he was saying is, the first thing that you do when you get up in the morning is make your bed. Not only because you'll have a neat bed, but simply because you've accomplished the first task of the day. And if you've accomplished one task, then you can accomplish another. So in my case, get up, make the bed, task one complete. Get out and do my bike ride, do my workout, task number two complete. There's two tasks already that I've successfully nailed before I've even sat down on my desk. Then comes the trick that I use as far as sitting down at my desk is concerned. One of the last things that I, I try to do when I wrap up in the evening is try and get one of my blog posts to the point where all the main content of that blog post is complete and all I need to do is do the intro paragraph and the answer target for that blog post and insert the my, my images and then I can publish the blog post and that I'm usually able to do within about a 20 minute period and I make that my first task of the, of the day as I sit down on my desk which means that by the time I actually get into the main nitty-gritty of pushing out words, pushing out content, I've got three wins for the day already. So that's what that's what I'm doing. And when I get back to the, uh, my desk now, the blog post that I've got sitting there waiting for me, I need to complete one subheading, an intro paragraph, an answer target, insert one image, and it's done. And that will be my third win of the day, set up really early and super simple anyway let me finish this massive cup of coffee get back home get back to my desk and get cracking on that blog post that i'm wanting to wrap up really quickly and i'll tell you what um and that's obviously happening happening after my shower as soon as i've nailed that blog post i'll get back on the on the camera and let you know what time of the day it is when i've got my Third main target of the day 
all wrapped up. See you then. Sure. Hey there, I've got my bike workout finished and just to bring you up to date on the calorie count on that was one, 1,199. So just a smidgen under 1,200 calories, but at the same time, uh, that's round about where I wanted my calorie burn rate to, to come out at because there's a massive amount of content that I've got planned for the day. And just to let you know, as what I was talking about um, at the cafe stop, almost at the end of the bike ride, the first blog post, the one that I was needing to finish off to keep the momentum rolling, it's now just gone 20 to 12, and that one is done and dusted, wrapped, it's a wrap, it's in the books, and now I'm, the main body of the my um, chunk of work that I'm going to be doing just before lunch and just after lunch is going to be doing a whole lot of blog post layouts that I'll be able to attack and wrap during the content hour that I'll be doing with Project 24 in the Project 24 Mastermind that comes up at 6 o'clock my time here in Spain. So that's just a brief update and I'll be um, bringing you up to speed as far as what's happened by the time I get to the end of that content hour because that content hour is the one in which I'm wanting to push out as many content words as physically possible once I've got all of those layouts nicely set out. Speak to you soon, and a good evening. This is going to be a way earlier than normal wrap-up for the day. It's quarter to eight in the evening. My Project 24 Mastermind, the content work hour is completed. I've managed to use that hour to push my overall word count for the day, for the day up to 3,044 words. It's over and above the blog post that I nailed and wrapped up first thing in the morning. And in this process of the content, Project 24, I've got another blog post that's at 98% complete that I'll be able to nail first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, from the point of view of tomorrow morning, at this stage, um, I'm not entirely sure whether or not it's going to be a bike ride or a gym station. One of the two, but it's definitely going to be a workout of some sort. And the reason why I'm not entirely sure as far as which one of those two is going to be will be a case of checking how the legs are feeling when, in the morning when I get up because what I, I do know is that with my friends Julie and Michael I've got a fairly uh, moderately strenuous bike ride uh, on the program for Saturday morning and I want to be able to be at my relatively better state for that Saturday bike ride so depending on how I wake up in the morning, uh, if I'm feeling strong in the legs, then it'll be a shortish bike ride, uh, possibly just a shortish bike ride to go through to the uh, spring to go and collect some spring water and then come back uh, to spin the legs out so that I can do this uh, more strenuous bike ride on Saturday. And if that's not a feasible possibility, then I'll pop out to the gym quickly and maybe do a bit of an upper body workout. But that's the, the program as far as tomorrow morning and then nail a whole lot of content. Uh, even though I did 3,044 words today, I'm wanting to try and push close to 2,500 tomorrow so I can be ahead of the curve as far as what my targets are for the month of July. That wraps up today. I'll see you tomorrow for a f series of Friday uh, video clips that I'll edit together in the life of a full-time content creator on a Friday at the end of the first week of July. Till then, cheers.